Surgery for IBD just doesn't mean snipping out a problem spot. Sometimes it's about carefully removing and reconnecting whole sections of your gut. Bowel resection is a major surgical option for Crohn's and colitis, used when medical treatments can't control inflammation or when complications like strictures, blockages, or even cancer show up. You see, in a bowel resection, the surgeon removes the damaged part of your intestine and then joins the healthy ends together, a step called anastomosis. The type of resection depends on where your disease is. For an ileocecal resection, it removes the end of the small bowel and start of the large bowel, which is common in Crohn's. A segmental resection takes out damaged sections of the small intestines and the colectomy removes part or all of the colon, while options like a right or left hemicolectomy, sigmoidectomy, or even total proctolectomy, which is removing the whole colon and rectum. Whenever possible, surgeons use keyhole surgery, which is a technique for a faster, easier recovery and smaller scars. But every surgery has risk leaks where the bowel is joined, infection, and if a loss of bowel is removed, short bowel syndrome, which makes it hard to absorb nutrients. Some resections like ileocecal resections can lead to vitamin B12 deficiency or bowel acid problems, and Crohn's can come back at the joint site, sometimes needing more than one surgery down the line.